Optimize the stream. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be anyone watching anymore. Let's have a look at you. Anyone watching? Don't know if it knows I'm live yet. FBI, open up. Right, people are watching. Good. Doing an actual stream test part two. Let's have a look. We have an actual frame rate this time then. Actual frame rate, don't know. Because uh, <laughs> there's a good chance this is going to be a total disaster. FPS got fixed, yay. So, let's pick his nose. Wee. Now, the frame rate might just drop again severely as soon as I start working because I'm on a old laptop that's as some of you have seen, is barely functional, and uh, you know it might just as soon as I start doing some actual work. Using SFM gives me cancer. Using any any of this software does. I wish I was shooting live action films, not pissing around in Source Engine. Right then, where were we? I was creating some new textures for this lovely recast Gordon Freeman to make him look a bit like this bloody old dude. Look at this guy, he's like a bad waxwork from some cheap, cheap waxwork museum. Right, I'm trying to sort of flick over here and, and look at my comments while doing this as well to engage, but uh, just uh, not, not very good at doing it yet. Um, I don't have a very good setup. Anyway, and that's out of the way. So we've got his face looking pretty bloodied and nasty. He's got a very clean neck. But, anyway. Let's uh, have a look. Where were we? What's this? What the hell? Let's stream that open thing. Go away. Um, right. I'm on a total uh, blue screen there. John Strader, T pose. Are you, are you trying to get me to T pose or are you just observing, you know, that he's doing a T pose? I can't, I can't tell whether whether it's a bit or not. So, um, let's open up the GIMP. Alright, might as well start with this lovely little. Lambda logo. Start from center. I mean, the thing is, where the next episode starts, it's going to be in the water anyway, so the blood can wash off. You can have a little bit of a clean slate. Oh, I can never remember how to use GIMP. I use Photoshop most of the time, but I can't, I can't get it working with VTFs. Um, I, just, I just hate it. I think it's absolute dog shit. Recommend from. I'm just looking. I'm looking over at my iPad and my Twitter notifications. Why am I doing that? Um. All right. Let's get some of that blood. This is going to be very boring. Um. I'm just trying it out. All right. Where were we? We need this sort of. It's got a sort of big, big splottery bit going. Oh, this is so small. Really pokey little laptop here. Uh, is it that one? I'll do. Finished.
right what I'm going to do. Big lambda. Set this to the old overlay. Darken that. I think that might be the one. I'm just going to keep irritantly darting back between them. Um, is it? No, I don't think it is. Oh, shit. What have I done here? Right then. Tell you what, um, any of you, if you're not subscribed, can you click the subscribe button? I want to see if my little alert box works. I've got this like really like oh yeah, I've done loads of work on this. Is it that one? Yeah, this one will do. Needs more blood. The blood's what I'm doing, Ted Cruz. Get back to work, Ted Cruz. Get back to work being useless. Alright then. I'm being far too stringent about this, aren't I? Let's just get on with it. Let's put a nice... Yeah, it'll do. And then we want like a sort of nice little oh, one of these. Little, yeah, that's pretty good. A little splottery bit there. Make it a bit bigger. No, that's too big. Actually, no, that is too big. I like how in the series you see why every single blood splatter is a suit or face. Yeah, sort of what I was going for was the the overexposure to <laughs> gore. Um, I wanted to give that feeling of what a mess Gordon is. sort of bleh on it about there looks pretty good don't know whether this will be the final one it looks a bit looks a bit bright whatever it'll do for now so we've got the got the front there looking good oh I'm out of the frame that's better when I'm looking over at the side, I'm reading the comments. When I'm sat like this, I'm working. So I'm not going to read the comments. I make maps for Black Mesa, the Abyss Boss. Mmm. Ooh. Make me some custom maps. Why not? Pinwheel, that's family friendly name for Svastika. It certainly fucking isn't. I see some of you talking about the old Half-Life logic. How did this man survive? Because he's Gordon Freeman. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just put a great big splattery... You know, I'm going to darken this blood a bit. There we go. Hi, Glenn McLeod. I am basically replying completely randomly. Yes. Get another little... Just a little... How about this? Sure, why not? Now, this is going to be challenging because we've got a little... So that's the... That's the left side. So... Because it's attached from the right, so... So that's the left now. Okay. 
Fenry. I have no idea on making maps. Map making maps is something I have just cannot can't get my head around it. I've tried it. I, I understand the basic principles of how you make a map, but it's just everything I've ever done just looks like it just looks like zero boxes. So not my not my pot of jam. Right then, where are we? Big, big, big blood splatter. Oh, no, let's uh, change the angle of that so it's sort of no. I hate using GIMP. It's an awful program. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, there we go. I really wish there was a way of painting it onto the you know the actual um, 3d model rather than uh, rather than these flat textures I hate doing this um, I mean in fact that one of you is probably gonna say there is a way and it's using this ridiculously complex program and obviously I won't be doing that because I can't afford it I don't know what it is oh that's not a that's not blood dude I adore your sense of cinematography on your videos Thank you, Zachary. That's sort of... I, I use it to kind of paper over the fact that the animation itself isn't actually very good. You know, it's like I, my, my background is in... My, my background. I'm punching there, but my, back, my, my background is in cinematography and filmmaking rather than animation. Which is why it sort of looks kind of nice-ish. How come you're using two textures? Whatever do you mean, Benry? Two textures. This is one texture. Or do you mean this one? This is the old texture for little old Freeman that I'm not using anymore. And this is the new one that I'm trying to make look as flipping good as possible. Hmm. Wipe a bit of that on there. There we go. Dude, I can't believe I had the opportunity to see you in vivo. Thank you for the time and dedication you've put on your vids. Have a great day. You have a great day too. Sebastian Martin Espinosa Vasquez. That's some name, man. What an amazing name. Wish I had a cool name like that. Benry. Okay. Was that was that the the question about the the two uh, the two textures? If that makes sense. If I ever make a movie, I want to copy some of that camera work for it. Pinwheel Arts. Don't you worry. I uh, I won't judge. Now then. Uh, what am I doing? Um, let's get it. No, it's too too big. Splotter on there. Is it? Is the stream still working? That would be. That would be nice if it's still still kind of working and all right. I have no idea. Because I'm just kind of getting on with it. Hmm. What's this one? Oh yeah, nice nice little smear we can sort of put put there maybe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, another, another blob. Yes, it is working. Good. Lovely. Thanks, guys. What's this one? Ah, oh, yeah. A bit of that on there. This is literally how I go about this. It's like at random. Mm, we've not got much blood on that side. Let's just add a little more, shall we? Let's, let's that a bit. Yeah, there we go. Why has he got blood on him again? 
because he hasn't <laughs> I'm literally forgetting the continuity of my own series um, he's covered in blood for some reason but he's not bled all over himself apart from his little cuts mostly um, oh he crawled under the he crawled under that that um, horrible desk that was bleeding all over him, didn't he? And he just sort of got absolutely caked in gore. It was brilliant. Um, Zachary, how, also, have you made any live action stuff? Um, <laughs> not for a really long time. Uh, I, I uh, wasn't it because he was dragging a body? Yes, that's another reason. I'll get back to that. Uh, so, uh, have you made any live action stuff? I haven't really, um, haven't done anything in a long time because I, uh, I studied film at university. Um, you know, put a lot of energy into it at the time. It was two thousand eight or something. But then the just the, I wasn't very good at finding work afterwards, and and sort of nothing really came, and I just kind of went and got a bar job and just kind of didn't didn't really get into it um so yeah um i actually made made like a short film for the first time in 10 years a couple of weeks ago um which hopefully you'll you'll get to see at some point in the future but i'm i'm trying to kind of move my work towards live action because it's it's what I prefer. You know, it's what I want to be doing. Um, this was this was never intended to be the the big thing that it is. Anyway, let's just uh, now the legs. I think were uh, let's just get source back open. Now the legs because the textures were mirrored on the legs. I think were the textures mirrored. I don't know. Um, Oh, they weren't. All right, let's get these. Let's just get these legs looking really bloodied. I'm doing this very, very slowly. I mean, you won't be. Really, you must all be terribly bored. Right, where's his legs? So one big splatter on one of them, and less of one on the other. Is that a leg? Is that the front of the leg? Um. There we go. Get a big, get a big gloop on that one. Oh no, that looks rubbish. Uh, no, we want that. That looks shit. Um, all about that. Let's get the angle sort of. Can't tell what I'm doing here. Uh, so the, the black bits at the top. Yeah, that'll do all right. Freeze peas. Hey there, how you doing? I'm good. Hey, look, it's bollocks. It's the 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 person who like does all of this. Hello, bollocks. Welcome. I can't imagine I'll retain you for very long because this is boring. Uh, Doctor Harold Pontiff Kuma. Here's an actual question. What do you guys prefer, Half-Life 1 or Black Mesa? Personally, I like Half-Life 1 more just because, well, I don't know. The Black Mesa is obviously better because it's a remake. Um, well, without Half-Life, you've got no Black Mesa. So that's, that sort of says it all. It, it's the more important one. But Black Mesa is the one that I'll go back to and play you know I can't imagine myself picking up Half-Life again and 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 playing it um, certainly not as much but Black Mesa I feel like any day I could just go yeah I'll get Black Mesa back on uh, I haven't played Zen yet because my computer won't handle it so as soon as I've got a new computer I'm gonna gonna get straight on and just play it again from the beginning so I've never played the fully finished Black Mesa, sadly. Let's 
get a bit of this. Bollocks. Loving the beard. Thank you. I'm hating the beard at the moment. It's um it's got a bit too it's got a bit too scraggy looking. It needs needs the neck done, needs the mustache done. You know? Um I mean all my hair's a complete disaster. It's sort of too long. I look like I've been in the gulag. But I haven't been for a haircut yet since since this whole thing happened. Haven't uh, haven't really shaved except for like once. Oh, I don't know if that looks very good actually. Let's try. Uh, let's just try that. That's a lockdown beard. Kind of. I mean, I normally have a beard anyway, but it's just it's just got a bit much. Um, it needs needs a bit of beard shampoo and a little bit of oil in it, maybe. A bit of moustache trim. <laughs> so jelly. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's not a good beard. Didn't expect him to have much hair under that hat. No, you didn't, Ted Cruz. So my other monitor just keeps going off, and uh, that's, that's why I keep getting dark. Right, let's just drop the... Oh, pops. Um, let's just angle you away like that. Get that bloodied a bit. Now then. Fun fact the guy in Half Life 1 at the beginning riding the forklift is named Gus. Who's. Which guy in the forklift? I don't know. Uh, you're all distracting me by talking to me. Uh, I blame this squarely on all of you so shut up right oh you've gone um right anyway so feet it's henry when is new part it'll be done when it's done these things take a very very long time and amongst trying to actually work full time you know trying to actually live, trying to deal with a lot of depression. It's not going to be for a long time, mate. <laughs> yeah, also, yes, Radiator Leader. He's right, please don't shut up. I'm quite enjoying this. I'm just being silly, mate. Oh, let's get a right big splatter of blood on his, uh, on his midsection. Is that his midsection? I can't even tell. Um... Uh, maybe. Let's turn the lighting off so we can see. Right, yeah, that's the midsection. Let's get a bit on there. Mm. Right there. Make it a bit larger. Right now, he's going to have like a, a, a bloodied crotch now, isn't he? Um, oh, is that the back bit of him there? Let's have a little look. See, uh, Benry, why are you depressed? Uh, because I suffer from really, really debilitating depression quite a lot of the time. Um, it's just a, it's, you know, that's a, that's a thing. It's just a medical thing, I suppose. Um, it's not necessarily because of anything. It's just because I'm depressed sometimes. Um, yeah, it sucks. Obviously depressed, still waiting for HL3. I mean, yeah, yeah, maybe. That could be a defining factor of it. Defining, deciding factor? I don't even know. Uh, there we go, let's get a little bit of blood on there. I can't tell which bits of this are which. Um, are they his feet? Are they his feet? I don't know. The next time I do a stream, I'm actually gonna like do something interesting. I might like animate some stuff rather than just sit here piddling around in GIMP. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, oh, is that his hands? I don't think that is his hands. Maybe something else. 
Mm-hmm. Let's let's have a look. Is there any more of him that we can we can bloody up? I am a head out. Radiated leader, thanks for dropping by. Nice one. Oh, thumbs up. There we go. See you again sometime. Um Zachary, are there any directors or cinematographers you admire? Um yeah, I mean loads of them, you know, I'm I'm really into really into films. Um but uh one of my uh one director I really like for their style is is actually is Deborah Granick, who directed Winter's Bone. And you you can you'll sort of be able to tell if you watch that film. Um how much of her sort of very handheld, candid sort of intimate style goes into mind. A lot of people complain about the uh, about the the handheld camera in this stuff, um, which is fair, but it's a stylistic choice that I've made, and I'm not going to stop using handheld camera. It definitely, when I look back at the first episode of it, it was like far too far 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 too you know um it was too much it looked horrible you know people always complain about that first shot of the of the guard playing super metroid and the camera's going like and it's awful but that'll you know will always be in there as for cinematographers uh, i mean the obvious one is uh war uh, roger deakins he's great um, and uh, Steve Yedlin who works with Ryan Johnson um, ah spoilers who spoiled what anyway Steve Yedlin um, who uh, yeah he's the frequent cinematographer with Ryan Johnson who did Brick and Looper and uh, the absolutely excellent Last Jedi and he just his stuff just looks really really good um i love it uh and and you know of course roger deakins works with all kinds of amazing directors like the cohen brothers who again are one of my sort of favorite duos for writing and directing because of their kind of use of clever visual comedy and editing and, and just how good their cinematography looks i'm learning more and more about it by the day just watching things such as you know every frame of painting and well all kinds um a bit difficult to get into it I'm, I'm sort of trying to talk about it and work and i'm not doing a very good job of it he's switching the models metro i am uh zachary i appreciate this i, I appreciate these questions and uh it would be nice to uh talk about them again sometime oh bollocks got to dash hope to see your new work soon pinwheel would you thank you bollocks love you too uh, hey, drop in sometime if I'm streaming some animation. It might be quite fun. Appreciate the support. Got my Patreon. Mm. Oh, should I have my Patreon on the screen? Ooh. I'll change that for me next overlay. Uh, anyway, what am I doing? HEV suit M. Oh, I've still got coffee left. This is why I'm talking fast. Zachary, have you listened to Deacon's podcast? I haven't. Um, Zachary, I mean, DM you someplace. Um, I, I, I don't know where you would. Uh, if you've got Twitter, uh, feel free to uh, go on, get on the old Twitter, which is like up there in the top top right corner at JJ Pinwheel. Bollocks. Don't do Patreon, but if you have a PayPal. Um, yes, I do have a PayPal, Bollocks. Hang on, I'm just being offered money from Bollocks to uh, help fund me series. My PayPal is... Um, I don't know, how do you do PayPal? Um... Bear with me a moment. Uh, 
So my PayPal would be Bear with Oh I'm just I'm just making everything slow down and freeze. This is this is just like my computer. Um I am getting so very distracted here. Um, I just need the email address of the ACR. Oh, right, okay, I see. Um, so it is. Hold on. I'm just going to put it up on the screen once I find Notepad or something. You see, I literally have no idea what I'm doing here. Where are we? Notepad. Ugh. Anyway, I'll tell you what, bollocks. I'll just I'll just read it out for you. It's a uh, J B N. Dot Johnston. Dot Pinwheel at gmail.com um, maybe I will try and type that out on the screen because it's rather like the chat in the chat is fine okay so hang on a second I just need to work out how to do that <laughs> this is just ridiculous um, now can I oh here we go um, I've got two computers running here, you see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I will type it for you, bollocks. Um, yeah, it's a stupidly long email address. Um, everyone else, please don't uh, spam my email. And uh, bollocks, thank you very much for for making a pledge. That will go towards, well, whatever it needs to go towards for uh, to make this a bit more of a reality. Helium production. I'm a hack that one. Please don't. Hey Pinwheel, do you have a Discord server? I recommend making one. I don't even really know. Bollocks. Thank you. That is really so much appreciated. I'm going to put that into. I've got a little savings account set for new equipment and things, so I'll transfer it over to that immediately. You are a legend. I think we all love you. Thank you. Um, why? Uh, do you have a Discord server? Can somebody please explain to me what a Discord server is? Because I genuinely do not know. Why did Pinwheel search YouTube? Did I? Anyway, let's have a look at... Oh, that didn't work. Hold on. Zachary, are you Scottish, by the way? Lol. Uh, I'm not Scottish. I'm from... I'm about 15 miles south of the Scottish border. So maybe that's why I sound Scottish. So, not far off. Discord is kind of Skype, but for gamers. Okay. Hmm, maybe I can... Maybe I'll look into that. Mark 5D, Mark, what's that? Ah, you received $25 from Bollocks Gaming. What a legend. Hey, anyone else wants to donate, then go ahead. Might eventually get me a computer that works. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm uh, supposed to be doing this, this work, aren't I? H, Mark 5, Mark... What am I looking at here? 
new skins, head color. Bear with me. This is this is terribly. Uh, Pinwheel Arts, it's Skype, but not stupid. Fair enough. Discord server is a giant group chat. Okay. Right. Um, HEV. Is it in BM? HEV? Uh, you're just going to have to bear with me here while I find which one it is. Yeah, please no one spam my Gmail. I would really rather you didn't. One. H E V suit M, H E V mod five, H E V helmet, long jump. Oh, this is stupid. Where the hell is it? H E V suit. H E V suit R. No. <laughs> um, HVC M. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. HVC charge for. I swear it should be that one. Work that time. Zachary, my ancestors are actually from the English Midlands, a village called Minchinhampton near Stroud. Wow, Minchinhampton. Where are that Australian comedians from? Maybe. <laughs> that was a funny joke, that wasn't it? Right, okay, so we're gonna export this. Make them entirely made of missing textures. Yeah, one day I will, as a hilarious joke. Right, so let's just create us a new folder. We'll call it Reskins. Honestly, you guys would be appalled if you could see, like, this, the absolute state of, of my Source Filmmaker folders. It's got, like, hundreds of gigabytes of just totally uncurated stuff. Because um, I've never quite had the confidence to delete anything. Uh, HEV suit D UC UC4 bloody this is technically technically number four isn't it um right then hey what inspired the first video by the way um what inspired it um <laughs> Boredom and depression. Um, I uh, I was living at home quite a few years ago now. Um, ill with depression and anxiety. You know, I couldn't work. I was just I was in a real bad way, and um, and and I just I you know I'd wanted to make I'd, I'd always thought oh, I'd love to make a Half Life film. You know, um, I'd love to be the guy who did the Half Life movie. And butchered it like every video game adaptation um and then I, I suddenly you know while i was bored with nothing to do i'd been playing a lot of stardew valley and that was just starting to wear thin and i uh and i thought to myself oh oh that source filmmaker thing that's a thing isn't it i wonder if you can put the assets from black mesa into it uh and you could so i thought right here we go i'm bored i've got nothing to do i'll just start making a half-life film you know um in this because i can't make it live action obviously um so i'll just do it that way and just pissed around doing it spent a long time making that first episode for no real thing other than to keep me occupied um spent a long time on it and eventually finished it and thought oh well you know maybe i'll put it on put it on youtube for a laugh um you know, might get five views, might get a couple of comments, and it blew up. 
so ridiculously that it's kind of become this other this huge other quite daunting thing now um which i am trying to, to do more of but you know just struggling to, to get the time right um it's a it's a difficult tightrope stardew valley what a classic it is a classic. It is a beautiful, beautiful game. It ranks up there with Okami for games that just, like, make you feel better. Zachary, I'd probably mess around with a movie in SFM if I understand anything about programming, coding, or had a MacBook that wasn't from a decade ago. Well, I mean, SFM is, uh... It's bloody um, Windows only, really, isn't it? When I first started using it, I was doing it in parallels on a Mac, but it was horrendous. Um, I actually tried doing it in boot camp on my new Mac, but then for some reason it just gave me this boot loop and it just wouldn't work, which was a pity because it was really fast, but it just wouldn't, wouldn't work. Um, you don't need to know anything about coding, really. I'd never done any animation, machinima animation or anything like that. I just loaded it up and it's all really self-explanatory. If you've got a Windows computer that's, that's capable of running the source engine, give it a shot it's really good and it's got a really active workshop and a really good community of people who are always trying to help you out oh that didn't work what's this thing called reskins reskins where are you hev suit d uc4 bloody that would make sense wouldn't it Ah. That's sort of disappointingly not very bloody. Needs a lot more blood, that. Ah, oh, it's weird, isn't it? The, the original looks a lot better. Let's just, uh... Oh, once the lighting's on it, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so note to self, needs more blood. Mm, that leg looks pretty good. Actually, I quite like the sort of asymmetrical blood on the legs. Let's bloody up those arms again. Okay, so keep reading your comments. I'd love to see you animate those shots that follow Gordon over his shoulder. One of your shots like that in a screenplay I wrote. If I ever make a movie out of it, I mean, big over the shoulders and wanners are like my favourite thing. Absolutely love them. And once I've got a bit better at this, and hopefully, like, if I ever get using mocap and things, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna start doing some action scenes as wanners as well. Like, I'd love to do. You know the bit. I do plan. I'm sort of doing little spoilers for my technique, but you know the moment in We've Got Hostiles where you come up the lift. And there's, uh, you're finally on the surface, you're outside and you have a sort of big shoot out there with a, with a bunch of HECU, uh, drop down into that bunker and it gets bombed and then you go down to the blast pit. Um, I want to do that bit from, from the moment he comes out of the lift to the moment he shoots down the ladder. I want to do that as like a one take action scene because I just think it would look absolutely awesome if you could stage that really well and do like, loads of good, good choreography um, I plan to do more things like that with me work I've now watched every actual episode of your Half-Life animation series and I can't wait well I mean there's not that much of it to watch really is there <laughs> if I'm being honest anyway let's get these arms let's get these arms going HEV arms clean wouldn't it be cool to make the videos look like they were shot on an anamorphic lens? <sighs> yeah, maybe. I, I um, I'm I'm gonna stick with the. I'm gonna stick with the standard sixteen nine look that it has, just for consistency's sake. Really, I wouldn't want to shift aspect ratios or anything in the middle of it, um, because I just feel like it would look a bit weirdly inconsistent. Um, but yes, if if I'd thought about it more in the uh. In the past, I would have definitely done something more, uh, more interesting with the lenses. I might have even done it in sort of like a nice letterboxed kind of two point three five thing, or just something cooler. But it's it kind of is what it is now. 
but yes um if i ever do any other animations of different things i might think about framing them differently doing them differently you know uh, might even think of something to do in like a square aspect might be quite nice great work you're doing with this amazing hardware series i just finished today the whole game series of this year black mesa and your channel can perfectly see after i'm going on patreon thank you vida i hope i haven't pronounced that incorrectly official ted cruz youtube account how do you make the voice lines for Gordon? Gordon doesn't speak. Uh, Gordon is silent. Um, so I don't make the voice lines for Gordon. Um, oh, unless you're talking about some of his... Um, there are a couple of grunts and things, aren't there? There's he, uh, That's just literally me, the microphone. Um, he, gr he, think he grunts when he pulls the glass out of his face. It's me going, <coughs> and uh, and then when he vomits, it's me going. <coughs> oh, that's the joke. Souls guys, missed the bus on that one. Let's have a look at this dude's arms. Let's just get them looking nice and splattered. Pity these arms are mirrored. Um, if there's one thing I really, really don't like, it's mirrored textures. Because they just... They just always look... Really obviously mirrored. And it just it just pisses me off. Um, I know it's all about optimization, but I just I can't quite get away with it. Um, let's just put a bit of blood on there as well. And some on the hand. That'll probably do. Um... Say H E V arms bloody D export Zachar Andal. I think my favourite kind of imagery is from a movie called The Ipcris File. Hmm. I know of The Ipcris File. I've never actually seen it. It's like a is it a sort of espionage thriller. I feel like it might be. Um, old film with M Michael Caine in it. Possibly. Is that the one? Might be. Maybe I should give it a watch sometime. Right, let's see if this is going to work. Oh, no, needs to be in reskins. Ah. See what I mean by mirrored text is looking really obvious. Might not be the case once he's in motion, but... I guess we never noticed on the originals, did we? Visual Degree is not the answer I expected, but it was informative anyway. Yeah, I was just, I completely didn't get the joke, did I? That's the one with, the one with Michael Caine, yes, Zachary. Um, gorgeous cinematography. Hmm, all right. I'm gonna look it up on my other computer that you can't see. The Ipcris file, 1965. Wow. Who was the cinematographer on it? Otto Heller. I don't know his name. Hmm, did a lot. Whoa. That guy was doing cinematography since the 1920s. Oh, he did the cinematography for Peeping Tom. Alright. One of the first slasher movies. Amazing, that. Great film. Oh, it's in colour. So, let's have a little look at our our little Gordon guys. So there's a there's old Gordon with his proper mashed up face. There's new Gordon with his even more mashed up face. Like those those cuts look seriously deep now. So his suit is less impressive. 
So uh, let's let's just have a look at making it a little bit dirtier, shall we? Little bit dirtier. Gonna make it really dirty, like. Anyone know what that means? Nah, of course you don't. You're not from the northeast of England. Proper dirty. Right, so this is the front of it, isn't it? So let's give it a nice. Oh, that's how about that one? Ooh, no, it's too big. There's cuts on his face around with Daniel Craig in Casino Royale. I haven't seen Casino Royale in years. It's quite good, that film, wasn't it? It was sort of just at the point where James Bond films were starting to really try my patience. And then, like, suddenly that came out and it was really good. Um, yeah, they did a good job with that. Oh yeah, that one looks pretty good, doesn't it? Nice big. There we go. Mm. Actually, I think Daniel Craig could play a really good Gordon. Yes, DC is my favourite actor. He's good, Daniel Craig. Um, he was amazing in Knives Out. He was just brilliant. Um, even though his 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 accent was his, his Benoit Blanc accent. I suspect foul play was it wasn't like totally convincing but he was but because he was so kind of committed to it it, it just made it work um, which which was just amazing um it was a very very good film knives out uh seared seared the mima are you still working on unforeseen consequences? I, slowly, um, I will be continuing it. I've just got to kind of work out when I can get the chance. Um, so yes, it's not like dead, but it's just slowly ticking along. I'm going to uh, maybe stream some of the first bits of animation of it and maybe stream even more of it if this kind of goes well and if people enjoy it. I'm planning to do more of these streams. That was kind of why I'm doing this, actually. Uh, didn't really explain that to anyone at all, um, that I want to stream more behind the scenes and animation type stuff so you can watch it and kind of see what I'm doing and I can keep a bit of audience retention and then I can keep these up and you can monetize them. So if you want to watch them again, get some ads on them, then a bit more ad revenue, isn't it? Um, because making these Half-Life episodes are, it's a long, long, long process. And that's what people want from this. You know, they want they want Half-Life from my channel, not really other stuff. So I need to kind of keep it going and keep interest in it somehow with whatever I can do. So, you know, you might see more streams from me of this kind of stuff. You know, I know no one wants me to do any bloody gameplay or anything of stuff because that's not, you know... It's not what you're here for, but we'll see. Once we've got some feedback on this, we'll uh, see how much people liked it. I'm not really good at speaking to camera, am I? I'm uh, just kind of vaguely annoying. And I'm not that charismatic. <laughs> Seared, I wish you a lot of luck. Stick around, it'll happen. And you can watch me doing some more of this stupid stuff in the meantime. Zachary, I'm so excited for No Time to Die. Same director as the first season of True Detective. Oh, yes. The man whose name I can't pronounce. Um, but yes, he's a very good director. Um, and the first season of True Detective was amazing to look at. And also, true that there's one episode of that, wasn't there, that had a ridiculous long take. It was like a seven or eight minute, at least one, where he's, where he, sort of bashing through that like, what is it? Is it like a sort of through a load of projects and it's like a hostage situation or something? And he like abducts some dude, and it's, oh, it's amazing. If you get a scene in a James Bond film that looks like that, that would be bloody great. Right then, let's just overwrite this now that it's got a little more blood on it. 
Fukuna Fukunaga. Kerry Fukunaga, that's right. That's the one. Excellent director. I never saw the rest of True Detective. Um, I think just with it being an anthology, it's one of those things where you kind of, if you start missing out on it, you kind of forget that it's a thing and, and you haven't really missed that much, if you know what I mean. Right, let's do the old Matt Reload All Materials. Watch, this is going to crash my laptop. It's going to crash SFM anyway. Let's just sit and give it no time. It's always going to be three hours. I suppose Skyfall was two and a half hours, wasn't it? Skyfall was really good. Um, I didn't care for Spectre. I thought Spectre was dull and formulaic. I quite like the ending. It was quite clever. Um, it's nice to see James Bond act with a bit of restraint. Um, but Skyfall, I just thought was was excellent. Um, you know, I, I think uh, Sam Mendes is a is an incredible director. Like nineteen seventeen was really was brilliant. Um, and and so is Jarhead. Actually, I think Jarhead is a really underrated film. Um, in a lot of ways, it's it's an excellent film, and it might be one of my favourites of his. Everyone, you know, I remember everyone would always say, oh, Jarhead is not as good as American Beauty. And I think that's really unfair to compare it to his first film, which did really well. So, you know. And, yeah. Skyfall and Carrie by Brian De Palma. It's by my love for filmmaking. I saw them around the same time. Mm, Skyfall and Carrie. Interesting duo, that. Yeah, everyone's everyone's thinking this is going to crash. This is actually just what it does. It just tends to sit here for ages, um, reloading all the material. So it might be fine, but might not. Mark OSD, when's the next SFM? It is uh, sometime in the future. Derpy Gaming, how do I load up BMS maps in Source Filmmaker? Um, yeah, okay. Uh, this is uh, actually a good point. When you open up Source Filmmaker, I'm just going to look, or not open it up, sorry. Let's have a look on this little window. Oh, you can't really see it very well, can you? Um, oh, and my whole computer's just stalling, of course. Um, uh, sort of trying to have three conversations at a time here. Um, is this working yet? No, nope, that's not working yet. Nothing's worth. <sighs> Honestly, the state of this computer. Your device is in grave danger. Yeah, it is in grave danger. Um, yes, Mark OSD, SFMs are very, uh, they're not hard necessarily, they're time consuming. They're hard on my computer because it crashes a lot. Um, but they're just, there's so much to do. And when there's one of you, I am literally one person doing all of this. You know, I do the animation. I do a lot of the retexture work. Um, you know, I I render it, I edit it, I do all the music composition, I export it, you know, do the sound design. There's a lot of work goes into that. Anyway, hey, there we go. He's looking a bit more bloody there. Yeah, it's better than it was. Um, so yeah, it takes a long time. Um, it's time consuming and can be quite difficult, yeah, especially when you've got a full-time job. That's the issue, you know. I work full-time um, and this is and my job is spent in front of a computer screen all day editing videos, so this isn't so, you know. It's, yeah. It takes a long time. Um, and you can only do it as and when, so. Gotcha, I gotta go, goodbye and good night. Good night. So yeah, Mark, it uh, takes a long time. That's a beefy neck. Who's got a beefy neck? Me. That's not much of a beefy neck. Uh, derpy. Anyway, um, to get Black Mesa maps, let's uh, let's talk about that. Um, if it's gonna not crash, so you see this. 
think if you do the view DLC in store. Oh, hello. That's not what I wanted to bring up. Gordon has a beefy neck. He has got a pretty good neck, like. Mm, okay. Um, manage my seven DLC. Okay. Huh. Go enjoy Black Mesa, Mark. It is flipping great. Right, okay, so. I think this is how you do it. Thanks, Dr. Kuma. And thank you for all the appreciation. Um, it's a lot of hard work, but, uh, you know, it can be rewarding when you finally get to the end of it. Right. So, Derpy Gaming, here we go. Let's look at this. So, in your Steam window, let's just. Uh, let's brought it up a little bit. So, um, you've got your little DLC section over here. See you again, Mark. Uh, this Manage My 7 DLC, hopefully, and you've got the Black Mesa content pack. Enable that, and it should download it and add it as a mod. Now, from what I remember, that didn't actually, um, I didn't actually give you everything. I think there was a lot missing from it. Um, so what I did, all the stuff, most of the stuff I use is from the original mod version of Black Mesa, not the Steam version, because I still can't find a way to load the, um, the maps from, uh, from the Steam version. I'm not quite sure why. It might just be that my computer's a mess and just can't handle them. Uh, maybe we'll find that out if I end up getting a new machine. Um, so what you can do is if you've got the mod downloaded, the original mod, you can you can mount that into your Source Filmmaker files. You know, here, where are we? Let's just go. Um, so your program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Source Filmmaker, game. You can't even see that, can you? It's horrendous. And then paste your Black Mesa folder into game. So then you've got your bin, downloads, maps, materials, media, models, particles, resource, scenes, scripts, shaders, all of that stuff. That was how I did it. Um, so, oh, I actually read somebody had to get a content pack, but I thought it was on the workshop. So that content pack, that's what I was talking about, um, is this, it's DLC. Source Filmmaker, once you've got Source Filmmaker, it's under the DLC bracket. Black Mesa Content Pack. So that's the content pack, but you can just use the files from the mod. They just, they transfer over directly because all of Source, you know, all the Source Engine stuff is so kind of good like that. Um, but there is a lot in the workshop as well. Uh, you'll find loads of models in the workshop, um, extra little maps. Someone had like an old Zen thing, but it was, you know, it was sort of, not real zen i still don't know how to get zen um you know current black mesa zen got no idea how to get that into sfm yet which is a massive shame because it looks so good uh but who knows who knows there will be a way um but anyone who does know these things i don't know maybe i should start up a discord one of these days if i've got the time we'll talk about these kind of things um so yeah, looking at our little Gordons here, we've, uh, yeah, that was what I was going to show you, it was like me doing retexturing, and I've just ended up, like, waffling on loads, um, that's typical, that, but we now have our two guys, so let's just, let's pose them, shall we? Just for a laugh. Um, rig, 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 biped simple. Really good idea with this code. Yeah, I mean, it. I don't really know what I'm doing with it, but it would be cool. One day, it would be really nice to involve more people in this work, but it's just, it's not a, it's not something that I, I can really manage. 
right now. Now, where was Gordon Freeman? There we are. Let's get his rig on. Could be easier to announce progress and things. Harold Coomer. Yeah, it could. I just haven't quite worked it out yet, you know. Um, as I say, I'm too busy, like, doing other stuff. Sorry, Zachary, you said before. So you're an editor. I edit for a YouTube channel. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of that right now. I don't think it would be particularly appropriate to talk about who I'm working for or any of the ins and outs of the work because that's my job and I'm not really going to go into it but you know I edit stuff like that you know I also dabble in some actual filmmaking when I get the chance but as I say when I get the chance which uh, is not very much right let's get a little uh Let's get old Gordon here. Let's get our new Gordon. Oof, pardon me. There's a small YouTuber I'm friends with called Vladiator One, who does live action live streams of himself animating black mesa vids using mocap he's really cool oh wow gladiator one you say let's have a little look oh, i'm using the wrong keyboard me me big boy what are you on about what does that mean? There's a lot of gladiators on here. Um, not sure which one you mean. Gordon is being replaced. That's what happens on the player guys. Yeah, just gets a nice new character model. That's what we're gonna get. Um, oh, validator. Why did I think it was Vladiator, idiot? Of course it's going to be Validator. Validator maybe later, is that it? Dedicated to authentic first person animation akin to virtual reality. Ooh. What? Looks to me like this guy does far better work than me. He's only got 400 subscribers. I hate that. Like. I am so undeserving of the, of the huge audience that I have. Um, and this guy is clearly doing loads. Right, let's get a good old... Get some good old posing on it. Vladiator. A vampire gladiator named Vlad. Oh, there's a, there's a screenplay in that. Like There's a bloody good film in that. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this sort of looks a bit like it's going to be rude. Don't worry, it's not. Oh. <laughs> what is going on? The state of that, man. Elvis. Might time lapse this bit. What are you doing to Gordon? Doing terrible, terrible things to him. Oh, let's just turn the lighting off for a second so we can work a little bit more quickly. Yeah, this is how slow this thing is. You have to actually turn lighting off to do anything. All right, you shooter, JJ. Go on, Vladiator. Yes. Castlevania meets Gladiator. I'm all about that Castlevania crossover. That 
looking. <laughs> it just looks rubbish, to be honest. Um, also, Validator said you're one of the things that kind of inspired his videos. Wow. Didn't realise I had that much influence over people. <laughs> Poor Gordon. Yeah, poor Gordon indeed. Um, kind of feel like he's. Yeah, there we go. I'm imagining a mix between the Gary Oldman Dracula movie and Gladiator. Oof, I don't know, mind. I watched. Um, I watched that Gary Oldman one a while ago, a Francis Ford Coppola movie, and like, there's a lot wrong with that film. Like, Keanu Reeves is like really bad in that film, and he's not even the worst thing about it. Right there, let me think. Um, no, Rick, come on, where's the, where's the pelvis? Tiny little bone there. Ridiculous. Um, let me sort of back like that. Let's get this. Whoa, what happened there? That's no good. What's going on with his knees? Oh, these rigs are terrible. Oh, maybe it's to do with his foot, you know. Might be a bit better. I always find that feet are really bad. Infidel, that's one of my favourites, actually. There's a, there's a lot about it that, that I like. You know, it's it's a good, unashamedly gothic film. Um, I just think it's got its issues. I'm not going to shame anyone for liking it. Sort of picturing what I'm doing here. But I'm, oh yeah, okay. That that's sort of. Hmm. Does anyone else have like real trouble with elbows in Source Filmmaker? Flipping crap at it. Why is new Gordon kicking old Gordon? Why do you think? Because he's replacing him. We're booting out the old Gordon. He's rubbish. Um, back, back a little. I mean, he's not rubbish. He served me very well. Give him a nice little there. Uh, face going I don't think Gordon would kick Gordon Gordon's kicking Gordon right now right um, let's see let's get him get him smiling shall we? where's the smile corner puller can't do enough for razor. That's a shame. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you'll do anything with Half Life Two if you get to it? <sighs> Look, I'd love to like tell the entire story. I'd love to write my own little Half Life Three and tie it off and do all of this, but. <laughs> We're never gonna get there. Like, I've got it all mapped out in my head. Like, I've got my own little retcons, my own little added things. 
all little original characters that kind of fit into it to make it work on a more kind of cinematic level but the thought of getting that far is just I don't know it would be great but I can't uh... <laughs> <laughs> what does this one do? <laughs> chocolate, chocolate, come on. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> oh dear. Alright then, let's uh, let's get a camera on there, shall we? Um a bit higher up um, I want to be able to see old Gordon's face a little bit more <laughs> I will uh, I might just keep working on this uh, this little poster and um <laughs> Making it sun. Oh, you know what we don't. I, I know it's just in the stupid little staging area, but who cares? Let's get a light on there. Um, let's get like a. I found like a rim light, maybe. It's a nice little kicker. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that didn't work. Maybe a bit more there. I want one. Try that. Maybe. Let's have another light. Let's get like a little. Let's get like a fill light in there. It's just completely nullified the other one, isn't it? <clears throat> I'm sure there's a lot more that could be done with that, but Gordon yeets Gordon. He does indeed. By the way, I know a cinematography tool that might be useful to you. Cinetracer, basically a game that helps you pre-visualise movies. Mm. Cinetracer. Open that up in the other. Got loads of notes from you guys sitting up here. Cinetracer on Steam. Realistic cinematography simulator. Oh, nice. Sounds like my computer wouldn't handle it, but... I'm definitely going to keep that in mind. Right, this is missing, however, a little bit of the old ambient occlusion. <laughs> uh, you know what? That's quite good. Let's just uh, get that foot out a bit more, a bit more comical. Maybe get that one up a little. Ooh, uh. And a bit more. Yeah, it's got a bit of a, it's a bit of a, a Looney Tunes thing going on there. Is that rendering? Whoa, look how long it takes to render anything with ambient occlusion on here, man. It is bad. Sort of looks a bit like he's can canning him, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, you know what we'll do? I'll tell you what we'll do. Oh, new five dollar patron. Meet Vida Andre. Awesome. Thank you. If you're still online, which you might not be, thank you. Oh, that's much appreciated. 
Hold on. Yeah. Oh, my girlfriend's um, texting me. Uh, I think she thinks I'm neglecting her. I should probably uh, probably get back to her soon. Tom and Jerry, but it's Gordon and Barney. I'd love to do some some slapstick like that. Steamed hams, but it's Magnuson and Barney. <laughs> Someone must have done steamed hams in sauce already. Like maybe I'll do it. Um, sorry. Excuse me for a second while I um. While I, I just placate, um, hey, there you are, Vader. Thank you. Love it. Hey guys, get on the Patreon. I haven't, uh, I haven't put it in the top. Um, <clears throat> um, I saw someone recreate the Take On Me music video as the Steamed Hams memes. Yeah, I've seen that. Brilliant. My favourite is uh, Steamed Hams, but nobody's there. If you've not seen that, that's just genius. She keeps saying, Head crabs for dinner. Disgusting. I don't eat meat, mate. Head crabs would taste awful. Alright then, let's just render a little... Uh, let's just let's put it on the desktop, shall we? To be honest, she's been very patient. Um, she's only texted me the once. And I've just completely ignored her like the horrible, horrible man I am. User. Okay, it's stalling again. User. Where's my desktop? I literally don't know what I'm doing. Users, user, where's my desktop? Is it on there? Oh, can't even see it. Let's just call this Gordon Kick Gordon. One day, I uh, I plan to do the um, the whole intro to Gilmore Girls. But with every character replaced with an SFM Gordon Freeman. I don't know why. I just feel like it would be a laugh. I think it would be funny. Let's export that. Oh, I've run out of coffee. It's probably a bit too late for coffee now, isn't it? Got, he's got such, a really, such an animated face as that nice new Gordon. I, I always find it really difficult with old Gordon. That his, compared to a lot of the other models, his face was very static. You could get some expression, but just not a lot. Um, that bit that bit in Unforeseen Consequences where, uh, where he and Barney um, run away from the, uh, all the zombies and he, he, he blows up the pipe. A really stupidly irresponsible move, and uh, and Barney Barney looks at him and he goes, "What the hell?" And Gordon gives him that stupid little smile. Um, I just I couldn't quite get it. I really wanted his face to be a sort of like, uh, but he sort of just went because it was about all I, all I could manage from it. And now, oh, so much more, so much more I can do. Um, right, then I'm gonna close the old gimp. Uh, so swimming is down there. Let's just have a little look at this. This little Gordon thing. Galunga. I don't know what that means. Are these are these Half Life VR, but the AI is self aware references? I, I don't understand any of that. I've not seen it. Ha <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. By the way, I think my favourite shots in your video is the pull away from Gordon when he goes into the te Oh! What the hell? Oh no, what's happened? Can you still see me? I don't know what happened there. Ooh. Sort of went completely blank. I clicked on them. Um, pull away from Gordon when he goes into the test chamber. Yeah, I really liked that. I, I loved giving it that nice feeling of scale. Um, this lovely feel of the room. And uh, the piece of music that I used as well, I wanted it to give this sense of like pride in, in what he'd accomplished. And the close-up when he pulls the glass from his cheek. Yeah, a lot of people commented on how brutal that was. Um, <laughs> I liked it. Um, I'm a little bit worried now that, that some of the stuff I would like to do would will just be demonetized in future because that last one was so appallingly violent and I don't know I don't really know how I'm going to combat that um it's kind of why the patreon needs yeah, more than are you right if I just turn oh. in now for two seconds? um I'm at <laughs> sorry guys you said I'm, I'm actually streaming um but I'm it's all right I'm going to finish in a moment I'll give you a shout though Sorry, I'm a, I'm in a house share, um, and that was my housemate. <laughs> um, so yeah, the demonetization thing—I don't really know. Um, I'm gonna maybe talk to people about that more in future. Um, <laughs> you're back, radiated leader. All right, just having a laugh. Um, there's loads more that I want to talk about, uh, but they're just. Um, it's getting a bit late now and I've been on for ages and I should probably uh, probably get on with some other stuff. Um, but, you know, we'll talk about things like the demonetization and where the series is going and all of this stuff, maybe in form of a few more like little streams like this. Um, but uh, don't worry, Zachary, I will be back. If you've not followed me on Twitter, just get me on Twitter, at JJ Pinwheel. It's a nice way to keep in touch. Um, Try and engage with some of those community posts as well. I do those when I'm not feeling up to talking to camera and things. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at going. I think because we've done a little Gordon thing, I might uh, might put that little poster up on the Patreon for for any patrons. They can have a nice HD version of that, just because it's a laugh. So I'm just gonna leave you with. Song of my people. <sighs> Thanks, guys. That was uh, a really unnecessary <laughs> way to end it. Oh, hang on. Something posted on the the Discord. Those people are going to be on here. Uh oh. Um. Song of whose people? Um. Fans of The Witcher Three. Those people. I was supposed to be saying bye. Um. The Half Life Discord don't really understand that, but uh, the thanks. Um. We'll see what happens. Uh, thank you, everyone. I'll speak to you all 